Okay. How? 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 Sirs. Yes, this is what I got for Christmas slash the holidays 2023 haul. Woo! I do one of these every single year since 2016, I think. As I say every single year, this is me not bragging. I'm not trying to like shove in my face. Everybody's face is like, look what I got and you didn't. No, I just love watching these videos every single year. Like, and what I got for my birthday, I do that too. And I love seeing people like what they got for their birthday. Like, what is, I just like seeing these things. And I like showing you guys and you guys like seeing these too. But I'm not trying to like brag, okay? So just, no, I'm not one of those bitches, okay? I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. Hope you guys did well. Hope you guys got over your, through your panic attacks and your nervous breakdowns. Hope that, I hope that went well for you guys. I'm barely skating. It's New Year's Eve for me as I'm filming this. So fingers crossed. Couple things off screen before I get into it. My nanny sent a check as she does every single year. I'm not gonna disclose for how much, but thank you to my nanny. My uncle Arthur also sent us checks. So thank you to my uncle Arthur. Um, the Funko Nightmare Before Christmas um, advent calendar that we did, it was a gift from my mother. So that is a gift. I got my cartilage pierced twice, uh, which was a gift from my mother. So that counts as a Christmas gift. My friend Henry sent me a gift and it's been stuck at our post office for two days now. I don't know why but I should call there. I don't know which one it is, which post office it is though. So um, I don't know what's going on there, but as soon as I receive it, I will show it in a vlog. So th th thank you to my friend Henry though, for whatever it is. Okay, let's get into my stocking. I love my stocking this year. I filled it up half halfly, but like for the, the parts that I didn't, I love. So firstly, I did not put this in my Santa filled put this in. So this is 150 piece witchy stickers. I cannot wait to go through all of these 150 piece stickers that are all witchy and gothy and wiccany. Oh, I love you guys know I love stickers. And I, I, I oh, I just love it. Um, so this is the essence lash princess false lash effect mascara love this mascara so so much I, I even love the packaging so so pretty love that mascara my favorite lash glue which is the kiss lash adhesive so we got that needed new lash glue i just threw out my kiss lash glue after applying my lashes today so we got some ioni lashes in uh the wispy crisscross dramatics beautiful lashes there. We got some more lashes, the Ioni Crisscross Cat Eye Long Lashes, beautiful. I think I wore those on Christmas, if I'm not mistaken. We got a beauty blender that's all cool and marbly looking. Um, we got Blistex, love Blistex. Always, every day, I'm using Blistex, so. This is my favorite lip balm of all time, and if I can find it somewhere else, I'm ordering a ton of it. So this is the Fresh Mint Hemp Lip Naturals Hemp Infused Lip Balm. I need so much more of this in my life. I, I, and I found it at Dollar Tree. So Cherry Sugar Lip Scrub. So we got some lip scrub going on, and I've always wanted to try this out. I thought it was a foundation, but it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It's a primer, concealer, highlighter, and BB cream. So, and I got it in 00 Fair Light. So, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, I am, I did use the um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer as, like, my main base makeup today. So, I'm excited to try this out. Let's move on to what my sister's boyfriend, Amir, got us. Oh my god, I love this box so freaking much. So, he got us all each an Amazon gift card. I'm not going to disclose for how much. I just love this packaging so much. It's so bougie. 
Oh my goodness. So thank you to my sister's boyfriend, Amir, for the Amazon gift card. I've already put it to good use. Oh my goodness. I love it. I'm keeping this box. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but like peekaboo. <laughs> and my aunt Stacy, she got each of us, me, my mom, and my sister. She got us elf little uh pajama pants it says son of a nutcracker and it's got his face on it and it's very cozy for the winter i love these our movie together is elf um so look at his face that's my face 24 7 me that's so me uh love that then she got us each i i i ornaments i know it sounds like i'm saying horror but like horror ornaments um, mine was the Raven. So she like got one specifically that matched all of us. So obviously Edgar Allan Poe, the Raven. My, look at how gorgeous that is. I love it so much. It's like a Raven sitting on skulls. Love that. Can't wait to put that on our tree next year. Beautiful. She got us each these spooky cat socks. So this looks kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas mixed with the spooky cat love these and my favorite gift from her i've been looking for a new wallet and this is just the perfect one if you know you know so opens up like that this is just absolutely beautifully perfect and i'm going to be using this after this video i'm going to switch my wallets at, well no, after today, because I've got so much baking to do and stuff to do to get ready for our little New Year's Eve party. But I love this so freaking much. So thank you so much to my Aunt Stacey. Aunt Arden also got us all Amazon gift cards. So thank you so, so much to my Aunt Arden. I also have already put this to good use. I've been getting Mama Blaze her un-Christmas gifts. Yes, we're doing un-Christmas again. And I've gotten her her birthday card. I mean her birthday gift um but she doesn't like the the word birthday it's the b word to her uh so her january gift so thank you so much to ann arden i i i really needed this this was very very helpful and i love the snowflake tin it's so pretty moving on to what my sister got me it's i gotta iron this out a little bit you guys know that South Park is our thing so if you guys know this if you guys watch South Park then you know Princess Sakini, Princess Kenny, oh my god, so cute. Look at how adorable. Oh my goodness. She got me a Princess Kenny shirt. I am in love. I hope it fits well. I I love this so freaking much. So thank you to Sister Blaze. I love this shirt so freaking much. Papa Blaze uh, for himself just gave me a bunch of cash, uh, which I've spent a little bit, uh, not a whole ton yet. I'm not going to disclose how much it was, but I've already bought some gifts with it, including some hair little clip-in extensions. Um, and you'll see some of that in a vlog coming up. Uh, and um, he went in on a gift with, with my mother, and so thank you to Papa Blaze. I don't even know where to start with Mama Blaze, so I'm just gonna start taking things out. So Mama Blaze got me a new phone case from Smartish. I told her like that like describes me perfectly. Like I'm not dumb and I'm not smart, but I'm Smartish, you know. So this is what it looks like. It's just one of those you know basic ones that's like really, you know, good protection for your phone. So I got a new phone case. It's got wires. So like, I really need to like flatten this out and like make this go right. But I've been wanting this hat for years and I've been putting it on lists and for, I don't know why I haven't gotten it. Mama Blaze until now, but like, thank you so much. Is just like an everyday witch hat. Oh my God, it's just one of those everyday what witches wear. Like, it's not like a witch hat, but it's like an everyday modern witch hat. So I'm so happy I can't wear it with my hair like this. Well, sort of. But oh my goodness, I am so happy that I finally got my modern everyday witch hat. So I can like, there's like wires that you can like fold it up like this. I'm so happy right now. I'm going to lay it out nicely so it can 
get together perfectly. I am so happy. I love my witch hat. Okay, if you watched my Starbucks cup collection, you guys know uh, that Mama Blaze got me those two other cups for um, Christmas. I'm not gonna show them in this haul because they're still in Mama Blaze's room and I already showed them. Um, however, she didn't tell me she got me two other ones as well. <laughs> oh my God, I wanted this one so freaking bad. I, this was on my wish list. Uh, I have not named these. Oh my God, this is so smooth and beautiful. So this is like coppery, like in rose gold, almost like a beautiful rose gold penny. So, oh my God. Goddess, I love this one so freaking much. So beautiful. If you don't know, I collect Starbucks cups. It's a problem. It's an obsession. It became like a, oh, I want to get one to, to a problem, like a serious problem. This gorgeous one, like a kaleidoscope. I don't know what I'm going to name them. I, d I have no idea what I'm going to name. So if you guys have thoughts down below, that they're appreciated of names for these beautiful cups. Ah, oh, I love these so much. Thank you. And I've already gotten two more since Christmas. Help! One of our shows together um, is what we do in the shadows. And she got me a little keychain, and it's of Laszlo. And he looks like he's in bat form, but it's got his human head. And it says bat! <laughs> if you know, you know. I got her a sticker of the same picture, and it also says bat um, as a little stocking stuffer. Uh, so she loved it, and so she got me a keychain. Uh, again, great minds think alike. I, I, oh, we didn't get there yet. Great minds think alike with that toe. So I love that so much. It's going right on my keychains or my purse, probably my purse. One of my favorite shows of all time is The Great. If you don't know, you should be watching it. It's not suitable for children at all in any way, shape, or form, but it is amazing. And I got her hooked onto it this past few months. Um, so my mother got me a black mug that says Blaze. And that's all I saw when I first opened it. Um, and she was hoping that that was all I saw first. So I was like, oh, it's a cup with my, you know, it's a mug with my name on it. I can't wait. And I turned it around and it says Huzzah on it. And if you watch The Great, you know Huzzah. And I was like, oh, it's a The Great mug. But I was like, after I drink out of this for the first time, am I supposed to just say Huzzah and smash it? Because that's what they do in The Great. <laughs> so if you know, you know. So this is for The Great. And it means so much to me because it's something between me and my mother. And I watched the episode with her last night that scars you for the rest of your life and she is not happy. So yay, <laughs> sentimental gifts like this that make me happier than any kind of monetary gift. So thank you so much to Mama Blaze, I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's go with clothes. This one she said was um, a ripoff because she thought it came with sleeves, but I think the girl wearing it in the ad had something on under it. Um, but I'm going to just get a black shirt and put it on underneath it. So it is this really pretty cropped vest, like schoolgirl vest. It's black and gray and white. Really, really pretty. So like, obviously I would never be caught wearing this just alone, but I could put something even gray and white shirts underneath it. Love this. This is totally my style. Love it very much. And it's very nice and thick and warm. So thank you, Mama Blade. You got me this sweatshirt, sweater, cardigan, not cardigan, but thing. Look at the sleeves. And like, it's so furry, like, like not fur, but like fuzzy and warm. And just like, it's, so, and this is a little bit crappy too. Not a little bit crappy, but not too crappy. But I love the pattern and the design and the fabric on this. So me, so beautiful. I was going to wear it today, but I was like, I got to haul it first. So love it. And I think the last thing and my favorite thing from Hot Topic was this cardigan. Again, the same kind of material on the other one. Oh my goodness. So it's this black one with white skulls and it's got gold skull buttons that go down. So nice, so warm. I love it so freaking much. Oh wait, this isn't the last one. 
I'm sorry, this is the second to last one, but ah, oh, this I'm so gonna get so many uses out of, and I gotta be careful and how to wash this, wash both of those, because um, I'm, go I'm gonna ruin it if I don't read the washing instruction. This is the last one. My father saw me opening this. He's like, oh, that's a nice Christmas one. I was like, this ain't Christmas, and I didn't even open it like a quarter of the way. I was like, nightmare on Elm Street, bitch, is this Freddy Krueger? My mom knows me. My mom knows me. This is going to go straight into my scrapbook. Yes, bitch. So this is a Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street cardigan. Look at that. And he's got his razor fingers slashing it up on both sides of the sleeve. So we got a cardigan, a Freddy Krueger. You know he is my favorite horror movie villain. My daddy. Oh, I love my daddy, Freddy. Oh, love it so much. That's all the clothes from Hot Topic that she got me. Okay, this is where I say great minds think alike. Do you guys, if you guys watched my wrapping gifts chaotically with me um, video, I got my mom a I am Knuff shirt. I thought I was being clever there and apparently not because uh, Barbie is a special movie in mine and my mother's hearts to us for a couple different reasons. My mother had to one-up me, not just with I am Knuff, but she had to put the roller blade in there too. And it says Barbie on it too. So she got me one too. She got, we had no idea that each other got one for each other. Look at that. I got one too. I got a I am Knuff shirt. I am so happy. And it's got the roller blade on it. I am Knuff too. My mom thought I was Knuff. Thank you, Mama Blade. Not only that, she got me a Barbie. I love this. This is just so classic Barbie. Just plain old classic Barbie. T I love this tea. It's just a classic Barbie tea. I love that pink against the black. Just plas plain old Barbie. I love it. This, I love that t-shirt for some reason. She got me a Jack Skellington hoodie. I love this hoodie. This is just a nice warm hoodie to wear on nice cold snowy days. You guys know I love my hoodies. Love this Jack Skellington hoodie. Nice and thick and warm. Love my Jack Skellies. Especially with clothing. Actually had to take a break from opening gifts for about three to four minutes because I was like tearing up and like very emotional. Um, we had a break, I had a breakthrough with therapy this year. <sighs> my therapist asked me with my panic attacks where I would go if I needed to like meditate and to, to go where and what was the first thing that would pop into my head just like do an exercise what's the first thing that pops into my head that feels if I couldn't go back to New Jersey what's the first thing that pops into my head that feels like my safe space just name it and it was Rivendell the place in Middle Earth so I it has been since I was 13 years old and so she was like, I think that's beautiful. And she know what she knew what Rivendell was. She's like a Lord of the Rings freak, Lord of the Rings freak like I am. So I was like so happy. We were like chit-chatting it and like joking about it and like she thought it was beautiful. So I have Rivendell as my background on my phone. I printed out a Rivendell picture and framed it and put it on my wall. So every time I'm having a panic attack and stuff now, I think of Rivendell. So my mom, I told my mom about that, and she had a hoodie, zip up hoodie, which are my favorite ones, made for me. And and to make the moment so much better or worse, I'm not entirely sure. My dad was like, so what is it? And I showed him, he's like, oh, Riverdale? Papa, please, when have I ever mentioned Riverdale in this house? Ever. Ever once. Completely different fandom. Completely stupid. Sorry if you're a Riverdale fan. I, you do you. You do you. You love what you love. I'm not trying to take that away from you. But like, what? Since I was 13, 
I've been, I had a Sweet 16 based on Lord of the Rings. I had a Shire Hobbit cake. What? What? Way anyway, this is one of my top three favorite gifts. Top top two favorite gifts. Thank you so much to Mama Blaze. That was just so amazing. I I I love you so so much. You have no idea how much that meant to me. I really want to do more baking and cooking coming this coming year. Um, when I was doing my New Year's wishes and hopes and stuff, I forgot to mention I want to do more baking and cooking, like uh, sometimes some from scratch and stuff like that. I want to do some easier stuff. I want to get some easy cookbooks, like for teens and stuff like that, because I'm I'm a beginner and I only have so much room in my kitchen and everything. But to start out, Mama Blaze got me from Hamilton Beach. That's in Spanish, this six speed performance hand mixer. So I'm really super excited. So I finally, I don't have to do like the, that hurts my hand and my arm and it takes forever. So I got a hand mixer to start me out. I thought that that was very, very sweet. So I'm very excited about that and to do this in the new year. The last few gifts. This also is what we do in the shadows. So you won't get this reference unless you watch the show. But one of my Starbucks cups was named Nadja, my second cup that I ever got. So this is Nadja. So it says Jesk because she can't pronounce the name Jeff. So she says Jesk. So that's how she pronounces it. So this is like a makeup bag or a little toiletry bag or a little, I could put my stickers in here. I don't want to put makeup in here because I don't want to ruin this. I'm so afraid because it's mostly white. So I'm going to put my stickers in here or something or like, I, I don't know. Hi, Dex. She got each of us one. She got a Nandor one for my sister and a Laszlo one for herself. <laughs> Perfect what I asked for. This is another gift. This is a gift that my father went in on with my mother. An Apple gift card is what I asked for. I was like, I need another Apple gift card. My mother got me one for my birthday. I needed another Apple gift card. Perfect. So my father went in on this with her. Perfect. Thank you, Mama Blaze. Thank you, Papa Blaze. I needed this very badly. <laughs> These two gifts were the first things that I asked for for Christmas. So I am head over heels and just so excited. So I am not a gamer. I'm not a video game girl, but I will say this. Silent Hills one through four are my saving grace. Uh, through when I was a tween and a teenager, uh, I played them with my sister a billion times over and they mean so much to us. So when I saw that vampire cosmetics were coming out with Silent Hill makeup, I was done. I was like, yep, done, done. I wasn't going to get the whole collection, but there were two palettes that stuck out. The Bubblehead Nurses, and I'll get to the other one next because that one was even more important to me. Um, I dressed up, I tried to dress up as a Bubblehead Nurse, but it just looked like a killer nurse one year. Um, so this is the eyeshadow. I can't, even if I could use them, I wouldn't. I'm just putting them on display, but these have mica in them, I believe is yeah mica it is it doesn't have talc but it has mica so i can't use it but look at this oh my goodness so it says silent hill on it and and, and it comes off completely so the shade names are save me wounds key scarred mary james and forever so if you don't know silent hill 2 then you wouldn't know but that's james right there Oh my goodness. And these are the shadow colors. So I wish I could get another one and use the color shades, but um, I, I can't. But oh my goodness, I'm putting them on display right after this video. But uh, hi Dex, hi. I love this so freaking much. I, 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 these were not cheap. These were not cheap. So I was so, I put them on my Christmas wish list. I was like, yes, I need them. Thank you, Vampire Cosmetics, for doing this. And the one I wanted the most, uh, if some of you may go back with me long enough to know that I collect pink bunny rabbits. And it goes back to Silent Hill 3, the first video game I ever purchased myself. And my favorite video game of all time, Silent Hill 3 my favorite character of all time is Robbie the Rabbit. I love Robbie the Rabbit. I've always wanted to own something 
a figure, a stuffed animal, something of Robbie the Rabbit. And finally, I own an eyeshadow palette shaped like Robbie the Rabbit. I, my life is complete. It says Silent Hill on him too. Look at how adorable he is. Adorable. <laughs> on the mirror, it says they look like monsters to you. Um, and it's got, here, I'll cover the mirror. It's got Heather, my bitch right there, or my girl. Sorry, Claudia is my bitch, but it, my girl, Heather. It's got Robbie there. It's got, it's got blood splatter through all of it. It's got the carnival scene right there. And we've got the, sh the, the shade names. It's bread. If you would only get these shade names, if you played the game, Robbie, fear, dried blood, dead, and lakeside. I am so and it's like magnetic so you shut it like that I think that's so badass I am so freaking happy about this you have no idea I am so giddy with this and I just think it's so cool the other eyeshadow palette was pyramid head and I was gonna ask for that and I still might I'll ask for that for like valentine's day <laughs> I'll ask for that maybe um I'll, I, I might I still might get uh pyramid head uh because I love pyramid head um, but these were the two main ones that I wanted. So I am so, so elated and, and, and so excited. Thank you, Mama Blaze. That is everything I got for Christmas and the holidays this year. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yule, or no holiday at all. If you guys just had a good December, I hope that it was wonderful and you ate lots of yummy foods, spent time with your loved ones or with your pet, with yourself. Pleasure yourself. Do it. It's natural. It's fun. Ooh. I'm about to go eat some Red Robin for the first time in years. I'm going to have myself a juicy burger and some onion rings. I'm going to spoil myself. Then I got to go bake a lot of stuff. I hope you guys have had, since you will see this after, I hope you guys have had a wonderful new year as well. So I'll speak to you guys very soon. And until next time, my beautiful ones, stay wicked.